ever been in a situation when you have spent tons of valuable time finding just a single file? If yes, then you're not alone. Because according to a study from Wakefield Research, 54% of the US professional surveys agreed that they spend more time searching for digital files they need than responding to emails and messages. So, it's high time you took control of your digital files whether they're stored locally on your computer or just in the cloud. Organizing your files effectively not only makes your files clutter-free, but will also help you to reach your goal by finding them quickly. That way, you become more productive during the day. But if you don't know where to start from, then let us show you how you can organize your digital files efficiently. Well, first thing first, name your file whenever you're working with a file or just downloading it from online. This may sound simple, but much more effective. Try avoiding vague names and give a name that describes the files best. Take this file for an example. Do you think you'll be able to tell what it contains after a week? Obviously not. So, the more specific you will be with the name, the more easier it'll be to find. When we're in a hurry, the common mistake we make is to save the file into downloads or on the desktop, just to find it quickly later that day. But the problem is, maybe this is not the first time you're doing it. Maybe you're one of those people whose desktop and downloads folder is filled with different files and app icons. And in case you forgot to check it later that day, it's possible to lose sight of that file. And that leaves us to the next tip, which is put them into a folder. Putting the files into a specific folder not only makes your desktop and downloads folder organized, but also helps you to prevent them from getting lost in the shuffle. And just like you gave a clear name to the files, also give a thoughtful name to the folder as well. For example, this is a doc file of how to organize the digital files efficiently. As we have finished writing it, we will move it to the folder named script done. That way, we know exactly where to find it later. It's always better to move your folder into a root folder other than downloads and desktop. It's because these folders are under C drive. And if any problem occurs and you have to install Windows again, all these files will be removed. So move them into another drive and rename the drive according to the files you're going to store. In our case, we have renamed the D drive into the document. And as the name suggests, we will be storing all types of documents in it. This is not about your local drives only. You can use it for cloud storage like Google Drive and Dropbox too, because it lets you organize your files efficiently. When your project grows, your files in the root folder also grow. So, it's necessary to create a new folder whenever you need it and organize folders under the root folder adequately. Let us show you how we do it. First, we are going to the root folder which is document. Then, we are opening a new folder and naming it December 2021. After that, we are moving the script done folder to this newly created folder. And when December month is over, we will create a new folder called January 2022 and place all our January scripts there. So create a folder or subfolder when it's necessary. We are organizing our folders according to date here, but you can organize it according to your preferences. Another way you can organize your digital files in your local as well as cloud storage is to weekly clean up unnecessary files that you absolutely don't need any longer. This will free up the clutter and let you quickly find the files you need the most. And if you're unsure whether to delete them or not, just keep them in a folder called archived. And finally, if you're working with an organization and frequently need to collaborate with them, then it's better to tell your coworkers how you organize your files. That way, they can access your files without wasting any time. Even better, ask them to follow the same steps to organize their files too. This can save everyone's time and effort when working collaboratively. So, that was all about some of the best tips that you can follow to organize your digital files efficiently. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.